Hello YouTube land, this is Harmano coming at you from Southern Cal. Um, there's something really um, cool, kind of, or actually kind of scary kind of happened, but both cool and scary at the same time. Um, someone was talking to me about scripture and um, they were um, showing me the Strong's Concordance or basically just telling me the Greek said this or that, the other thing. And um, I have um, you know, I've got the typical, typical. Um, let me just say it this way: the typical person on the internet uses uh, eSword or something. Some some people use Blue Letter Bible and things like that. And I'm kind of looking at my screen right now at the tools on my screen. That's why sometimes you see me looking off into the distance, you know. Um, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm, and so I've got eSword right here, and I'm, and then I've got over here. I got ISA. I've got like two windows because I'm like a nerd and um so anyway um but um the strong the the e sword has the king james version and it's got the king james plus version and the, the plus means that they add the um they add the strong's words uh to the the strong's words are um the greek concordance okay so what you see when you're reading is it'll say Luke 15:11 and he said and after he, almost every word there'll be a, it says G5100 G444 and if you put your mouse over that um, thing you'll see I should probably you be using my on-screen thing if you put your finger uh, hand over the, uh, the mouse over that um, you'll see the definition of the word and you'll see the word in Greek well that is very very dangerous you would think oh that'd be really good to understand the original Greek words no it is extremely dangerous because um, you're not getting the actual meaning when you do this um, it, it gives you the Greek word but the problem is it's not giving you the actual correct word um, for example if a word is plural uh, it won't tell you if it's plural it just gives you the singular word and then the definition word will say it's singular it's just very weird okay and so um, um, I strongly believe that it's very important to stay this Greek and I'm becoming more more uh, you know more and more convinced that we should be studying the Greek in Hebrew scriptures and that the, we can't trust in the translations of men uh, you know we should t trust in that we should understand things from the Greek now fortunately uh, you know fortunately we do have a fairly good translation so that we don't completely miss the Bible message you know it talks about the crucifixion very clearly if Christ talks about the resurrection and how he appeared to witnesses very Christ the very the, I mean you know very efficiently you know and so the general witness of the Bible is there so that people can hear the word and be saved but but what happens is um, false doctrines come along, and so you need to refer to the Greek because sometimes people will um, tell you, oh, the Greek says this or that, the other thing in the Bible, and that's why you don't understand it, and so on and so forth. So it's really a good tool to have um, the, uh, the Bible in Greek. And so what I found was a, a free tool called Interlinear Scripture Analyzer, and this is what I find is that there's different versions of the Greek words that are in the actual Greek, but in the 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 uh, Strong's it doesn't mention that. It doesn't show that. And I think many Christians think they're doing a really good job of studying the scriptures by looking at the Greek, and I applaud them. I think that's wonderful that they're willing to uh, go through the extra measure to stay the Greek, but unfortunately, more often than not, not false teachers use these things to uh, twist the scriptures around and say, I know more than you, and they look sophisticated, and your eyes kind of glaze over, and yeah, whatever he says, so, so you know, that there's that aspect of it, so the, the solution to that problem is to be equipped and to study, and uh, so when someone comes along with a false doctrine, you can just use these Greek interlinear Bible. That's what this inner scripture analyzer is. It's an interlinear Bible, and it shows three kind of versions of each thing. So it'll show the Strong's number, G281, you know, for AM. Um, uh, it, and uh, you look at it, and the words Amen in the Greek, you know. Um, 
you know, and so you can do a search for every time it says amen in, the, in there and all that. So it's really, really useful. And t today someone told me that there's only, that there's no such thing as a singular antichrist, okay? And, um, and it's a very convincing presentation that they can give you. And they, if they use a strong concordance, you can be convinced that they're right. But, um, but I was aware that of these nuances in the Greek that I could look at them. And uh, so what I did was I started to use the um, inner scripture analyzer. And I found, hey, this guy is saying that this is plural when it's not. This guy is saying this when this is not. You know, uh, he was just completely messing it up. And the reason why is probably because somebody else came along with the coordinates and said, see, this is singular and this is plural. And he took, he bought it. He took it line and sinker. And, um, uh, but um, the, the doctrine that these guys, this guy was teaching was that there are many antichrists, which is true. There are many antichrists. Those are false Christians, okay? Uh, another Christ, it means fake, you know, just like a substitute. And uh, so there are many fake Christians, and then there will be one fake Christ that comes, okay? But he was saying that there's no fake Christ that's going to come. There's no antichrist that comes. There's going to be many Christians, false Christ. And so, you know, he uses this doctrine to say that many people are looking for a singular Antichrist, not recognizing that there could be other false prophets and false Christians. Well, that doesn't apply to me because I understand that there are many false Christians and false Christ out there. So that doesn't apply to me. But in my eschatology, when I believe about the end times, I don't find any reason to believe that there's not going to be a singular antichrist that comes in the future as well as many antichrists today. Now, I suppose it's a little bit too technical of a video um, right now, but, um, you know, uh, I'm going to probably put a couple links to the software, and I might do another version of this video um, shortly that kind of shows these tools. And uh, just I want to warn you that, you know, the strong coordinate is going to mislead you if you rely on it, okay? So um, just keep studying scripture, but be careful, you know, make sure you understand the tools that are out there.